Hey, what's up, YouTube? Enforcer5150 here, and I'm going to make this video really quick. This was supposed to be an unboxing, and I screwed up not only once, not only twice, but three times for some reason. It was a charm, and the audio was screwed up. In the first one, I didn't even have any audio at all. The second one, it was too loud. The third one, it was a little bit... I don't know. It was just... Uh, it sounded like I was uh, using helium. <laughs> but I did uh, do the full unboxing here so I wanted to go ahead and just let you know about the card as I uh, quick do a fast forward through the unboxing so the first thing I want to actually mention here is that I was unable to find this card pretty much anywhere in the in the area it basically just sold out right away Pretty much after work, uh, whenever people started getting off work, the cards just started disappearing. Uh, there was a bunch of them left at Micro Center, and it just disappeared. Um, so those were gone, and I was finally able to find one at Best Buy, and they literally had one left. Now, with that being said, the other thing I want to mention is people are buying these cards up and selling them on eBay and Amazon as third-party vendors. Um, this disgusts me, basically. Um, they're basically, they're, they're trying to double the, the price for them. They're figuring people are going to buy them for cryptocurrency and stuff like that. And they're tr trying to drive the prices up, basically. Trying to make extra money off of these. And it's just, it's terrible. Whatever you do, uh, as much as you may want to get one of the R RTX cards, um, just don't. <laughs> do not buy into the eBay thing. Let those people suffer. Hopefully, they keep those cards over 30 days so they can't return them and they can't sell them. And they're not gamers, obviously. So, you know what? I feel no sympathy for them. They can go for themselves. Anyway, um, now if you have a 1080 Ti like I, like I do here, getting the 2080 is not going to be any type of real uh, boost or anything. Even in some games, you may even get lower FPS. Uh, but if you're really into the eye candy and stuff like that and you want to see this ray tracing in action then you know maybe and that's a big maybe uh, because the prices are going to go down but as far as just you know gaming itself it's not it's only going to be ray tracing is only going to be available in so many different games and it's all going to depend on if the developers actually want to put it into the game so I mean I'm sure you've heard this before and I'm kind of sounding like a broken record to you right now but that is you know the true story here um the tw the 2080 ti is the only one that's actually giving us a boost over the 1080 ti but one thing you want to do remember is that the when the 1080 came out they they didn't have that much of a boost either there really wasn't that much if you had a uh see a 28 if you had a 2080 ti and the 1080 ti was the newest one that you could get out there was not that big of a gap there was maybe i think we got 40 to 45 percent i'd have to double check that again um but that was kind of like the the max you know uh performance boost that you actually got when you got the new card so you want to keep that in mind when you're actually buying these cards as well is that it doesn't go up that much uh you know moore's law is definitely coming to an end so you want to take that into consideration definitely take that in consideration because in the future years, we're not going to see that much of an increase that we have in the past in the last you know, two decades. Now, if you want to get the most frames per second, you're definitely going to have to go for the 2080 Ti. And it is a freaking king's ransom to buy that card. Um, I will be getting it next week, uh, hopefully, if they're not sold out to people trying to sell them on eBay. Um, but I will definitely do a benchmark of both these cards. Uh, I'm going to try to get as much as I can with this one here. So that's it for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will have those benchmarks coming up very soon. You all have a great day and happy gaming.